out. Now today, I want to have a go at pop art. So I'm going to do a autumn set. I'm going to use these beautiful Born Pretty um, polishers that I've received. Now there is a video up on these if you are interested. So I'll pop, pop a link up above. So this is Born Pretty CC02 and Born Pretty CC03. Now what I've done, 02 is the brown and 03 is the mustard and I've added a tiny bit of white and what I'm going to do is mix these together to make this a lighter shade of mustard and do exactly the same with the brown. Clean the brush and then we will mix the white into the brown. So what I've done off camera is give two coats of that mustard shade to the nails that I have. What I'll do is just you don't want to see me painting nails, so we want to get down to the art. So I am going to show you one of the nails, and we'll do it in this beautiful, rich brown shade. It's just perfect for autumn. I absolutely love it. I know these nail trends come and go, and I also know that everybody's in such a rush to move on to the next thing, you know. They're in such a rush to bring out Christmas because that'll be next, that'll be next week once we've got over Halloween and I'm just not in a rush. I mean, that's one coverage. How gorgeous is that? Let's get it in the lamp. So we will give this a second coat. Now, if you can hear that noise, that's my little dog. She's a pure Yorkshire Terrier. She's a little doll. She's next to me snoring her little head off. So I've done two coats of this on two of the nails and then the others are two coats of that beautiful mustard. Now while that's in the lamp I've cleaned off my palette and I'm going to use exactly the same shade but this time in its true form. So I'm not going to add white, I'm not going to lighten it in any way. I'm going to use the brown which is BPCC02 and then the mustard which is BPCC03. I just love these shades. They're like just scream autumn to me we're going to start with the nail art so what i'm going to do while that second coat is in the lamp i'm going to load up my striper brush i want quite a little bead at the top there and what i want to do is take one of my nails around one side the darker shade and leave that bead at the top there and I'm going to bring it down pull it all the way down coat my brush again this time I don't want to bead on the end I just want to form my brush I can do a little curve just in there like that and then I will get that in the lamp so the idea of this is to do um shade and dark on the actual nail that's why we had a little bit of white to the background to make that lighter so that the the color is pigmented enough in the original so that it looks like it's the dark side of the nail let's get that in the lamp so I've done the rest of the nails so I just thought I'd leave one of the mustard, one of the brown into the video today. Again, I've got a little bead on the end to give me that. I will wiggle that off, pull it round and down. Now, what I will say is don't go too close to the edge. Don't want a bead on this one because I want to just pull that down just to deepen that line. So that you can see that it's beautiful chocolate brown. And what I'll do is just get load the brush up again. I don't want a massive amount on there. Just a really small and then just come around again. Now you'll see lots of different ways to do this on the internet. Lots and lots. I'm going to get that in the lamp. Now what I've done while that's in the lamp, I've popped some black and some white gel polish. Now everything that I use today, I will link below. I do have a discount code, guys, for Born Pretty off their website so i'll pop that on the screen for you 
But like I say, I'll pop all the details of what we use today in the description box. So I'm just loading up my white onto the brush ready for that to come out of the lamp. So now we have our black and our white. So we're going to do a light reflection on the opposite side to the dark reflection there. I'm going to do it level. And I'm not going to do it as bold as that. So my blobs are not going to be as big. It's going to be really, really delicate. So I'm going to pull that brush down. Lift it off like that. And then with a small bead on the end of my brush. I will just go dot, dot, dot. Let's do the same on the brown. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm going to come level with that. Put my bead, bring that down, drag it and lift. Getting that nice exaggerated line that comes down and fades up and then a couple of small little which is what would happen if that was light reflected and dark reflected let's get that in the lamp so while that is in the lamp guys i'm loading up my brush in the usual way what i'm going to do is outline frame this nail so i have pulled out the long striper brush from ugly duckling let me just show you that can you see going to try and do it in one stroke and not talk <laughs> apparently I can't talk while I do it so again I'm going to load it up for the other side no beads it's just full of black gel paint pop that on there full contact drag that down and get it as close as I can so that frames that beautifully. I'm just gonna make sure it comes right down to this tip, which it has done. And then I'm gonna go across the top. I have a natural shape, guys. And when I'm doing lines, it's even worse. <laughs> So I'm anchoring my little finger onto my hand while I do the tricky bit, which is curving it around the top of this nail. Again, I want a really, really thin dark line here. Just to finish off my nail. So that's framed absolutely beautifully. I'm going to pop that in the lamp. I'm going to do it again. So pop it down there. Follow the line of that nail. Full contact all the way down. Load it up again. Gently, slowly, full contact, bring that up. Look at that line, beautiful. You've got a decent brush, guys. I tell you, it makes your life so much easier. And having the longer striping brush, I've got both in the Ugly Duckling. I've got the longer and the, it's just a touch, just a tad. <clears throat> and I started to buy brushes. Um, Sorry, concentrating. I started to buy nail art brushes um, when I was doing my courses during COVID. I spent the whole of COVID just doing loads of courses. I have been asked if I paid for them. The answer is yes. There were some free ones. I did some of those. I'm not going to say I didn't. I did. But yeah. And most of them were the nail team. I paid for those. And it, and Rachel Hanks was another one. It helped me so much with my character painting. Just going to straighten up that line. Oh, for flipping heck. 
Right, I don't like that. Messed up, guys. Get a piece of gel cleanse on your cloth. Wipe it off. Do it again. Simple, 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 simple. I was doing so well. Right, load that brush up again. Going to go from the middle. I think this is the hardest bit, bringing it around. What I could do, make my life easier if I wanted to, but I don't. I want to show you it can be done using one brush, but I would swap for a smaller. I don't want to do that. Just take your time. There's no rush. Using the length of my brush along the straight edge, then I'll bring it around that corner very, very gently using the tips. It's just a minute amount there. Can you see? Because I've used full contact up there, full contact across the top. Just want to make sure the back of that black line is covered. And there we have it right. I want to put a small line here. You can see there's not a lot on my brush. Like that. I want it jet black, not interested in thick line. I want a nice thin line to show shadow. Love, love, love that. Let's get it in the lamp. While that's in the lamp, I've got clear gel here and I'll use that and a lint-free wipe to clean my brush. So I'll wipe off majority on a lint-free wipe. And then I'll use the gel, clear gel, which is in the middle of my palette, always is. When this shade is not coming off on the lint free wipe anymore and it's completely clear like that and i'll use the gel again to store my art brush and then i will pop that away so i have these autumn leaves that i would like to pop on just a couple of the nails not all of them because like i said we're going for the pop art look and i just thought these would go beautifully with the colours that we've chosen today so here they are with the dark the light ready for our pop art we're going to pop on a couple of these stickers so let's get my tweezers i'm going to choose one of these pop that off pop that into oh 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 come on Oh, very sticky because obviously the gel is cured how beautiful is that and i peeled off another one just put it on the bottom but that looks cute okay now what so what you could do is pop it on like that and have a look and see if that's something that you like and i really do like this sort of shaped leaf if you wanted to you could draw them on it's just to have these so i thought we would use them pop that in the centre like that I'm sliding it across the surface of the gel to exactly the place that I want it and then pushing it down like that the top coat we're going to use today is Martha Matte from Gems which is the nail team so this is what they look like shiny what we're going to do is now matte top coat these to get that pop art comic book effect get that in the lamp for 60 seconds and then we'll have a look at the final result so here we have the finished design what do you think do you know what i don't do map nails very often I love these, really, really like them. So I hope you do too. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, then please take a moment and hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you would. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.